After Arsenal suffered that heartbreaking 2-2 draw against Manchester City where we are holding on for the whole second half putting in such a good defensive performance, our 10-man Arsenal finally got broken down in the 98th minute by John Stones and we conceded a goal to see the game get drawn 2-2. And right now the big talking point that all of us Arsenal fans are actually touching on isn't any Arsenal players, isn't any Man City players, but more so the referee Michael Oliver. Now I'm never one for bashing the referee because I think every team gets the worst of it from referees but this performance particularly for Michael Oliver was absolutely atrocious the Trossard second yellow card was unneeded Lewis Skelly got a second yellow card for something that's technically not in the books he's allowed to tell the players to go down it's not illegal to say that Erling Haaland who threw a ball at the back of Gabriel's head and then went on to bash down Thomas Partey he never even got carded Doku kicked the ball away in the first half before the Trossard incident never got carded and the referee overall had an absolute stinker I don't think anyone whether you're a Man City fan an Arsenal fan a new Neutral, I don't think you can disagree with that. The referee made unjust calls and a lot of them went against Arsenal. But outside of the referee, a huge talking point that should be a bigger talking point right now is David Raya. David Raya was absolutely world class against Manchester City and I don't say that lightly. He was outstanding against Man City and the best thing about it is that the game before that against Atalanta he was world class again and the game before that against Spurs he was world class again. Heck, even the first game against Wolves where we won 2-0 he was world class against Aston Villa he was world class. We are yet to see one average to poor performance from David Raya this season. He has been on absolute fire but against Manchester City I think he deserves a lot more credit than he's already getting. So in today's video I'm going to discuss to you why I think David Raya has been so world class this season but just what did he do against Manchester City that was so crucial for us even getting a 2-2 draw. Well that's what we'll be talking about today so what's going on everyone you are listening to Gunner Central here I hope you're all doing well please be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. Now again his performances this season I think every single one of them was world class from David Raya. You're thinking to the Wolves game, he made an elite save and he kept us looking really strong at the back. The Aston Villa game, well, I think we all know the save I'm going to talk about. The save that kept us in the game and that allowed us to springboard on and go 2 0 up. The Brighton game, he was crucial when we were down to 10 men for coming out, claiming crosses, making some good saves. He was crucial in that and he was crucial to us holding out for a 1 1 draw. The Spurs game, I mean, he was outstanding again against Tottenham Hotspur. At Atlanta, he made a huge penalty save that saw us get at least a normal draw and then against Manchester City he made save after save after save in that second half and that allowed us to get a 2-2 draw. Without David Raya I don't know what our season would be looking like right now. Yes our defense is elite and last season the whole thing that we spoke about with David Raya is that he is a good keeper admittedly but is he really that good because it's such a good defense ahead of him and this season at least so far our defense has been slightly more leaky in terms of giving chances away and while David Raya has made up for it and some and he's proven why he is arguably one of the best goalkeepers in the world already right now. I mean some of the stats he put up against Manchester City yesterday is just ridiculous. David Raya faced 11 shots on target making 9 saves. He had 45% accurate passes which is saying something being that Arsenal were really lacking in possession. 29% in long ball accuracy which doesn't sound that good but if you think to most of those long balls were coming in the second half when we were down to 10 men and his only target to aim for was Kai Havertz. Well again those are some really good stats. He had three high claims, 16 recoveries, 52 touches, five diving saves, six saves inside the box. I mean the 29 year old David Raya was a monster against Manchester City and the biggest thing about it, a huge thing that I absolutely love about David Raya and what he brought to us, those three high claims. It doesn't sound like a lot but you must remember a keeper coming out and claiming a big cross, something that Ramsdale is admittedly never been good at. It is so important to have a stable and strong defense and David David Raya thrived yesterday at doing that and frankly he thrived at that for a long time now since last season. It prevents so many awkward moments for defenders to have to deal with and again it just provides more solidity and steel in the defensive unit. And if those stats aren't good enough, if you say right those stats aren't really meaning anything to me, I mean it is whatever. And he also could have done better with the goal, I've seen some people say that. I don't think David Raya could have really done much better with the goal we conceded. Not the John Stones goal of course, we're talking about the Erling Haaland goal. I don't really think David Raya should have and could have done anything better I think that goal is mainly down to Calafiori for allowing Savino to skip into midfield and then I think it's down to the two center backs and Gabriel and Saliba for I don't know if it was a miscommunication or something but those two just allowed an easy ball down the middle and that is just far too easy it's a similar ball that we saw against Brighton from Lewis Dunk so it, it just isn't good enough to do that and I don't think anyone in their right mind 
Netherlands could actually be blaming David Raya for conceding that goal against arguably the best finish in the world. So I'm not even going to talk about that. But again, David Raya brings so much to our team and he's a huge reason why, again, we even got a draw against Manchester City. Like Guardiol, when he took that shot on his left foot, immediately you're thinking that is caught so beautifully, that's going to the back of the net. No, David Raya in the rain, rain pouring down, makes a beautiful save. He then made that save from that header from Erling Haaland. Again, a beautiful save where it bounced and David Raya got his palm to it. There are so many elite saves that David Raya made yesterday alone. And again, you must remember, this was in tricky conditions, rainy conditions. His handling was never in an issue in rainy conditions under pressure never an issue making really good saves taking time between each city opportunity to give us even a breather David Raya was absolutely outstanding and yes Gabriel was amazing Saliba had a really good second half I thought Calafiori, Ben White, Timber, Declan Rice, Thomas Partey the whole team in that second half was defensively really really good except for that last second of the game but David Raya was the reason that we could hold out I'm not a Ramsdale hater but frankly I don't know if we had Ramsdale in goal if we would have held out for a 2-2 draw I don't know if Ramsdale would have been good enough to take the time that David Raya did Ramsdale would have definitely not been good enough to claim the crosses that Raya did in the tricky conditions and the saves well I don't really know if Ramsdale would have made those. David Raya with each passing game is becoming more and more crucial for Arsenal and is putting his name in the hat to be one of the best goalkeepers in Europe right now. Raya in my eyes is one of the best goalkeepers in the world right now. I think there are maybe two or three goalkeepers better than him. David Raya was outstanding against Man City and he is someone that we need to thank for that elite performance against City and we need to thank him quite frankly for us being able to hold out to at least get a 2-2 draw. Well done David Raya.